Okay, what we're going to do today is get our ballistic data or our bullet speed without a chronograph and then at the end of this video we're going to set up a chronograph and actually check the bullet speed and see how close we get. So the best way to get this is we're going to take the, the velocity off the box of ammo here which is telling us it's 29, 10 feet per second in a 24 inch barrel. Uh, every barrel shoots different so that's our baseline. Uh, we're going to shoot that and see if it shoots high or low on our plate out there at 510 metres. And depending on where it is, we will adjust the velocity in the app, either higher or lower, to match the bullet impact on the target. So if you're impacting on the target high, you need to increase the speed in your app of your velocity to bring the uh, elevation down. And if you're impacting low on your target, you need to bring the velocity down in the app, which will make you dial up more um, to get you to centre. Right, oh, firing, holding half a mil. That hit pretty much where I was holding. So we've fired three shots at our 510 metre target and it was holding half a mile of wind for the first shot and it nearly landed where I was holding so the wind effect and against that bank has had very little effect. Then I moved and held centre of the target for the second shot and that landed just off centre, downwind slightly to the left and then I held the correction for the last shot and it's landed centre of the target for windage but all three shots are two tenths of a mil low, which means our velocity information we took off the packet compared to real world out of this barrel is the rifle shooting slower than what the ammunition says on the box. So we can go into the app. I now need to go back into the velocity. So we'll go 28, 25. And that's given me exactly two tenths of dial up. So we add two tenths, one, two. And that is now, we'll fire two shots at that distance there. And then we can pull out the actual Garmin chronograph and see how close that is. Right, that looks way better. Now elevation is good. Uh, I held, I picked, the wind picked up a little bit, so it still landed downwind, but I just held the exact same hold for the second shot. And we've got two shots that have landed on top of each other, and our elevation is in within half a tenth. So it'll be very interesting to see what the chronograph says here, that we, we're gonna be definitely somewhere around that 2800, 28, 25 I would say. We now have got the Garmin set up and we're actually going to measure the velocity. We have a guesstimated velocity here of 28.25. Uh, we will now see what the actual velocity is. So that gave us an average of 2827. At that range, at that 510 metres, we could have been within 10 or 15 feet per second either side of that, and you would see very little difference in the elevation on that, on that target out there. Our guess was pretty much bang on. 